what I said, that's what I said, that's what I said, that's what I said. Now that you've downloaded your Derouter software and your tractor installation, let's get Derouter installed. In OS X, you're going to click on the Derouter DMG file and it's going to present to you a package file and the release notes. Double click on the package file. Press continue. Agree to the terms and conditions. Press continue. And click install. If you're prompted for your password, enter it. and installation will go on. You can now close the window that the package file was in and let's run our derouter software. Open Finder and let's go to Applications and in here you'll see SCS3 derouter. It's probably a good idea to drag it down to your dock so that you have quick access to it in the future. And here we go. Once you're running the Derouter software, the first thing you're going to notice is that the SC System 3 is going through a kind of light show. This is normal. We'll explain a little bit more about this in just a minute. Let's go to the Derouter software. Under the Active Preset, you want to select LE SCS3 V1.0. Now if you'll go down under the pictures of the SC System 3, you'll see under each device is a drop-down. Make sure that all of those drop-downs have a number in there. If the words detecting device appear in the drop-down instead of a number, try unplugging and replugging the USB cable to the computer or restarting the preset. So one thing you'll notice about the light show is that right now the two SCS3Ds are pointing toward the SCS3M, the middle device. What this is actually indicating is that these units are swapped. Now you could take this apart, rehook the cables. That's really not necessary though. We can fix this in Derouter. If you go to Derouter, underneath each of the SCS3Ds you'll see the serial number. If you click on the serial number, you'll see that it's a drop-down. Select the opposite device on each of the three Ds. And when you take another look at your SC System 3, you'll see that the units are now oriented correctly with the light show pointing to the outside of each device. This means that your SC System 3 is connected properly. And we're ready to install Tractor. Now before we get started installing the tractor software, I want you to go through your box and find your tractor LE registration card. You're going to need this in just a little bit. So grab this, hang on to it. Now let's install the software. You should have downloaded from the email that was sent to you earlier the tractor installer. It'll be in the form of a zip file. Double click that zip file and it'll unpack on your desktop. Once that's been unpacked, you'll see the, the tractor installer on your desktop. It looks like an open box. Double click on that and installation will begin. If it asks you if you are sure you want to continue, press continue. And you'll be presented with the welcome for the tractor installer. Press continue in the bottom right corner. Press continue and agree to the software license. Press install. If it prompts you to enter a password, enter your password and continue installation. The software will now install. At the end of the installation, you'll see the green check mark, install succeeded. Press the restart button and your computer will reboot. Now that your computer is rebooted, Let's do just like we did with the router. Open up Finder and drag a shortcut to Tractor onto your dock. That's in the Applications Tractor folder. 
And there we go. Now that we've got the software installed, let's open the router. When it's open, you'll notice the light show has started on these units again. To make them stop, simply touch a touch area on each of the devices and the LEDs will settle to their start positions. In the router, go to the active preset section and make sure that you've selected the LE SCS3 version 1.00 preset. Once that's done, let's open Tractor. The first time you run Tractor, you'll be presented with an activation screen. You're given the choice to demo the software, buy the software, or activate it. At this point, you'll need that Tractor LE registration card that I told you to put out earlier. Click the Activate button. If it prompts you for a password, enter it, and Service Center will open, which is the program Native Instruments uses to both register and update their software. Once on the activation screen, there will be five blank windows. You'll notice that on your serial card, there are five groups of numbers. Enter those numbers into the windows and press the Activate button. And you'll see Tractor LE has been recognized and activated. At this point, you can close Service Center, and let's go ahead and open Tractor. When you open Tractor, it might give you a warning about your library. It's safe to press OK, and Tractor will open. Now, on the first run, the first thing you're going to see is the Setup Wizard, where it says, please choose your setup, click in the drop-down, and select Stanton. Under Please Choose Your Device, select the SCS3 System LE. Once those two are selected, go to the bottom left corner and click Apply. Once you've entered everything into the Setup Wizard, your preferences will open and Tractor is going to ask you what sound card you want to use. You can select a built-in sound card or any audio interface that you have connected to the computer. Once you've selected your sound card in the Audio Setup tab, go down to Output Routing. What's important here is to make sure that you have a selection under Output Master. For more information on how to set up your specific computer, refer to the addendum in your manual. Now let's go down to the Controller Manager. Next to the Device drop-down where it says Generic Keyboard, select Generic MIDI. Underneath Import, I want you to select From SCS3 to Router. And underneath Output, select To SCS3 to Router. Then press Close. Once you've done that, Tractor should be ready to go. Let's press play and see if we can get some music. There we go. And now you're ready to go. For any of you who want to actually know more, you open up the router and then you hit this magic little question mark over here and you have the ability now to scroll through a help guide that will show you the breakdown of each and individual function and section of the 3M as well as the 3Ds.